Hello, Harry. Hey, Cliff. What's going on? Oh, I'm perfect. Thanks for asking. I'm glad to see you here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Absolutely. Do you want to give us a little tour of your shop here? Oh, happy to do that. Why don't you start with this uh, hairy creature here that okay. everybody keeps asking about. Okay, this is the bear, right? Uh -huh. And I had a customer who had passed on, and that was inheritance. Uh -huh. So that's how I achieved that. Um, I don't know where to start, but we could start here at the corner. And um, behind here is an old refrigerator, an ice box. And in the early 20s and 30s, they used to have an ice man who came in and put the ice on top and down here was your refrigerator. And then all these knickknacks and curios and artifacts people had donated to me. When I started in uh, 69, had opened my first barber shop and it was in a body shop in the office. I had put up uh, an old pan I had got from Knott's Berry Farm. And as people kept coming in, they kept seeing uh, these Western artifact, the next thing, it just kept growing. And I mean, everything has come from another place and it has a lot of value behind it for people who had gave me things. I mean, I've been cutting hair so long and every day comes maybe something else. And before my life is over, God knows what I'm going to have as far as collectibles go. So it's kind of like a museum, so to speak. It's almost kind of embarrassing because I have so much stuff, but I didn't go out and purchase it. It was given to me. So it kind of makes it a little more better, yeah. So you get a lot of different things from different people, and so it's a lot of, it's very eclectic, or? Yeah, uh, you'd have to really uh, look careful at all the things I have got to, to find out what they are. Um, this little picture here is a chicken, and this was taken in Florida, and it's called Poop Shoot Bingo. And wherever the chicken poops, and there's a number, then they win the money that the people picked on did, the did Poop Shoot. Did you ever play that game? Yeah, it was a lot of was fun. It, fun? <laughs> it was great. What about the piano? Yeah. That was uh, given me by uh, Butch, from uh, a Spanky and Our Gang. Um, uh, their uh, Red Buttons one time was playing the part of a brother to a sister who was a school teacher. So I had met this guy Butch here at the barber shop, and he had married a, a lady from was a Miss America. So it, it's kind of nice because it plays music and it has a, a, a role, a music role you could put here and it just plays or you could pump on the bottom. I see you got some shoes down there to do the, do some of the pumping for you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Is that what they're there that's, for? Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a dead man roll there. Okay, what, what about this picture up here? Okay, well that was me. Uh, I had a customer, uh, I think it was about 1978, he wanted me to be an actor. So he had made a, a, a bunch of pictures for me and I never did do that. But uh, I did do one thing for um, UCLA. It was a, an after school special. So I played a part as a barber, which was an easy thing to do. And that was a, a fun experience. And uh, had we look over these cabinets, I even have some of my grandfather's tools because he was a barber. And this right here was his hair dryer. How did that work? <laughs> well, I tell you, it's got the switches, you know, and you're hot and cold and on and off. So it's and, electric? Yeah, and this is a, another old instrument there. And this is cans of where cigarettes were. And that right down there is, um, they, they used it for... Uh, Mm, bronchus cups. In the old days, um, they had this theory that by wiping the inside of the bronchus cups with alcohol and lighting it, that it got hot. When the fire went out, they put the bronchus cups onto the skin, which created a fever, which caused the um, white corpuscles to fight off the uh, bacteria. 
So it's kind of like an Indian smokehouse in a yeah, way. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. They they may still use that in some some places, you know, or in the world. And then I've got the old pictures and bottles and you know, just how many of your customers come in and look at this? Well, t yeah. tell me about the tell me about the uh, the tourist bus that came by. Yeah, they they do that from time to time. Uh, I don't know how it started, but they they come by here with a uh, with a bus. In sometimes ten, fifteen, twenty people come walking through the barber shop. Do they ask? They ask a lot of questions, <laughs> you know. Even I have a hard time asking all these ask you know answering all these questions because there's so many. Uh, things to be looking at. Why don't you, you know? show us the, uh, the where you do your hair cutting? Sure. We come around here. Those are three uh, barber chairs, and I've got uh, <clears throat> some artifacts around and some things in here. And this is where I work. You know, and that's that was supposed to be a waiting room, but it. It doesn't turn to be a waiting room. It looks more like a little storage area. <laughs> but it's an interesting storage it's, area. Yeah. Oh. And then as you look around the shop, I've got uh, Pancho Villa. And what's interesting about the poster here and the, po and the picture here is the background. <clears throat> See where it says, ride with Pancho Villa? <clears throat> uh -huh. And then you look over to the, the left side and that's the background of the cutout of the horse on the oh, poster. Yeah, 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 it is. You know. it? And up there is Zapata, and this uh, an Indian arrow, <clears throat> and the shear sheep, and I got some Cliff Barber crowd hats, and I got some t-shirts. Um, my video that I had taken two years ago mm -hmm. got kind of popular uh, in Europe, especially, because they seem to put it on their bucket list to come see Cliff's Barber Corral. Yeah, so how it, many people have come by looking? Oh, I, I never know the number, but they do come in from time to time, and it's really interesting how they found me. Uh, is also in Mexico, I got a phone call from Alcapoco that they wanted me to give a seminar on haircutting from seeing my video. I had not done that yet. I'm not sure I will, but it was interesting conversation I had with these folks. And right here I have my, my Sabocito products, you know, it's, and my lay rights. And, and, and do, you, do you remember when we were here two years ago oh, that you gave us two hats? I did. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? Huh. I, it, you hold that hat there. Sure. This, is, this is the same hat that you gave us. Yeah, two, that's it, two, yeah? two years two. ago. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a giveaway. Okay. So, so what kind of questions do you think we should ask for a giveaway? Oh, well, did you like the video? And what part of video maybe you liked the best? Cool. Okay. So um, to win, we got two hats. Two and hats. And to win one hat or to enter to win hat, one hat, you have to ask, answer Cliff's question and write the answer in the comments of the video below. Okay. And then we'll randomly pull two and you'll get the hat. Good. Does that sound good? Okay. We can even throw in a t-shirt. Oh, you got a t-shirt? We got t-shirts too. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no t-shirts. Just the hat. Just, just the hat. Just, just the hat this time. Just the hat. Because otherwise we'll have the wrong size t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. One <laughs> so, size fits all, right? Yeah, one okay. size, yeah. That's <laughs> so, cool. Okay, cool. We'll put this one back. But one hat competition, answer the question below. What about these pictures up in the corner here? Okay, that was the pictures that was made of me to be an actor. Oh, okay. So that and, was... And this is, the, this is the doll of you when you were an actor? No, no. <laughs> that, <laughs> no, that, that's right there. It's a John Wayne. There's a doll and a cup and this little picture in there. And, uh, these are pictures that were offered at a bank on a sale. And uh, I had a customer that bought these pictures and gave them to me, and you know I had them for years. And then as we keep going, you know I've got uh, heads and spears, and those right there are are shackles and handcuffs from way back. And there's uh, a clean for your your hoofs on the horse, and that's a trap. That's an apple core peeler, 
And that's a little hammer they use in the coal mines. That's interesting right there. It looks like an upside down with an E on it, but that was used to break chain. And the three different sizes, you put it in there and you twisted it. And then as we go around, got an old oil can, and this is an Indian outfit behind there, and that's it's an apple, well actually it's a um, potato planter. And you put that in the dirt and you pull the handles together and it drop the seed in the dirt and spread the dirt and you kick the dirt with your foot. And over through here, it's just menagerie of just things. Didn't know where to put them, so I just stuck them in there. And then my little gel house there, that's Domingo, we call him Domingo, that's named for Sunday. And uh, that's where? Well, that's, that's, that's the where, jail. that's the jail. He's waiting to get out. Did he not pay? <laughs> so what I do sometimes is I have somebody stand behind in the jail and take a picture. So somebody can take a picture in jail. <laughs> as a Cliff Barber crowd thing. And then as you go up on the top, there's all kinds of tools that are used in the old days. And that's a frying pan right there. That's a pretty long handle. I think they might have used that in a big bonfire. That's a big long shovel. Cook some, uh, what do you call them, horse chestnuts or something on there. Yeah. And then we keep going around there, and that's a sword that come out of the ocean. And <clears throat> then it's a, oh, a nice, a nice pick handle and a brand and iron, a saw. And that there come from gun smoke, this particular uh, rifle holder. Sometime if you watch the episodes gun smoke in the house, you'll end up seeing that particular holder up there. It's like some, what is it, horse trotters? You no, know, it looks like it's um, off a deer, yeah. yeah. Did you shoot system. that one? No, no. I don't want to shoot nothing. Yeah. Oh, your, your reputation is going down the drain here because you, you, you're, got, you're a scissor slinging. You know, everybody's saying how you're the fastest scissor slinger in the West, okay? Yeah, but... And then you don't want to, you know... Yeah. In my young days, I, I like to go out and shoot little rabbits and things, but as you get older, you know, I don't care to shoot no, nothing not, no more. Not, not that sporting anymore? No, 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 no. more. <laughs> Okay, so what is the most interesting or funny thing that's happened to you in the shop? Hmm. Uh, from, from your fans, from the video? Oh, from the, I was going to go back to a story from some customer to come walking in one time. Okay, go on then. <laughs> well, one time I had this guy come in the barber shop and he was in a terrible fire and he had lost his ear and he had a, a prosthesis ear that was stuck on with this glue. So he asked me, should I leave the ear on or take it off? Well, being kind-hearted Cliff, I says, take off your ear. Who cares, you know? So I cut the right side of his hair, and when I got to the left, I didn't know where the guideline was. So since that day, I leave the ears on the head. That's, that's my so, ear so story. Did he slip down one side, <laughs> or did he put it back on? No, he was just sitting there with the ear in his palm of his hand. Okay. So... So what about the hair follicles? I know you like that that story you have. Yeah, uh, sometime, you know, uh, somebody might come in and they want to change the elements of life. And some people have curly, straight, or oval hair. But um, even kinky for that matter. But the follicle, which is round over a flat, determines the structure of the hair. It's like taking a ribbon and holding it on a scissors an amount of stress that you put on the ribbon determines the waviness or kinkiness or straightness of the hair. So some people want to have hair designed differently. You can with, a, with a certain kinds of haircuts, but basically people are just born with a half. So that determines how the hair is going to be shaped. What about the color? Now the color of the hair is actually uh, stays on the hair through the embarkations of the hair. Um, hair under a microscope looks like a loading dock where ships park. And so what happens, the hair dies, park into the embarkations of the hair shaft. So that's how the hair will 
gets the color, or holds rather, holds the and color. Then, th there were some comments on the videos about um, why do you use the mirror when you're cutting the hair? Right, because the mirror actually tells you what you're doing. Um, if you're painting a picture and you're very close to the picture uh, and you have a mirror behind, you'll see twice the distance from your picture as to what it looks like and you can get a better fine detail. So I cut hair using the mirror a lot. And then um, the, the, the video we filmed with you, it's had over two million views. Yes. Two, two million views. Yes. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel pretty nice. Makes me feel like I've accomplished a little something because uh, people from Europe, mm, I get phone calls. Uh, I even get people from around the corner. Uh, all of a sudden they see, oh, there's Cliff. And uh, I found that some people want to be on a bucket list to get a haircut from Cliff. I had people from Europe that came and got a haircut and he insisted on uh, having a hat and a shirt. Uh, I actually gave him the hat and shirt because uh, I felt like it was so nice and thoughtful of him for one to come this far to get a haircut from me that I gave him the, hurt, the, the, the shirt and hat. And he was happy. Oh, very happy. He well, couldn't do wait. You, do you to, know where he was from? Mm, no, I don't remember that. Did he have a funny accent? Very much so. <laughs> very, yeah. I, I put some of these uh, people on my Facebook. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they travel around. Yeah. And then... Um, you, 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 your video has to be one of the most popular. It's probably the most popular video we have. Um, so um, do, do you have anything you want to say to all the people that have watched it or watch it? Yes, I want to thank everybody and my subscribers uh, and, and the people who enjoyed my video. Um, I had people who actually uh, watched that video several times and they just keep watching over and over. Uh, it's is very achieving to find people to enjoy my work. And I thank everybody who did that. What, what are you planning for in the future? Oh, my future is just keep working because I love it so much. I, I wouldn't want to stop working. You know, I feel like life is half over. I might slow down a little, but that's it.